And speaking of the Golden Globes, you guys alluded to it, TJ and Sarah Haynes were there for all the glamour, all the action. And there they are now, live from the W Hollywood. Good morning, you two. Tell us everything. Good morning. Good morning, Lara. What a fun night we had last night. In addition to learning, and I don't want to be a spoiler alert, that Ellen yeah. is married to a man named yes. Mark. Mm -hmm. uh, we also had an incident where TJ shattered glass in our booth. There was a lot going on. Okay, but most of that stuff we actually can't show you. The stuff we can show you, we're going to show you right now what happened backstage at the Golden Globe. Take a look. I knew coming in I would win because... <laughs> Ellen DeGeneres may not have been a surprise, but it was still hilarious. The winner of the Carol Burnett Award for Achievement in Television had a surprising thank you. I couldn't have done it without my husband, Mark. Mark, <laughs> you are my rock. I never knew of Mark. Yeah. Oh, no? No. I don't talk about him. He's, he's a quiet guy. In 1997, when Ellen's sitcom was at the height of its popularity, I was in my mother's basement lifting weights in front of the mirror and thinking, am I gay? I don't think a lot of people really know that Kate was gay. It was big for her. I don't think she, she's really talked about it. So for me, I feel like tonight, you know, to reach as many people as we're reaching, we're helping a lot of kids in the basement lifting weights right now, you know? <laughs> I beg of us all to give them a better world. And there was that powerful speech from Best Supporting Actress winner Patricia Arquette. I have a different speech in my purse. When did you make the decision? You have a different speech you say in there. But at what point... You. Oh, it's typed out. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. This is for real. Oh. Did you make the decision when you heard your name? When I was sitting there, I just thought, this is an important time in the world. Aquafina, <laughs> look and after her history-making win for Best Actress for The Farewell, Aquafina says this is only the beginning. You just made history. It's the first woman of Asian descent to win this particular award. Yeah, yeah, I, I, that was information that's relatively new to me. But now's the time, you know, that it, it continues on. I, I can't be the, the last. Phoebe Waller-Bridge winning twice for Fleabag, nabbing Best Actress and the show grabbing Best TV Series for its final season. You guys, well, this can't table. be the end. Can, I, can, can we just start there? Okay. Uh, like, please. Like, it was a 10-minute one-woman show, away. and then we're here. We're here. There's so much more. She's waved goodbye. We've got to leave her alone. Do you know how many it's people done. have waved goodbye and come back? <laughs> Ask every ex-boyfriend I've ever had. That is very <laughs> impressive on your part. <laughs> people now need to be their own flea bag. And Rami Yusuf, star of Hulu's series Rami, won for Best Actor in a Comedy Series. I know you guys haven't seen my show. Uh, it's, uh... <laughs> how much of it did you really mean? You think a lot of people haven't seen your show? Uh, they will now. They will now? Yeah, they will now, which I'm really excited about. What do your yeah. parents think? You guys are my new parents. Like, I, I, have not, I have not talked to my parents. I'm on Good Morning America, and my mom's like, you haven't called me back. And 1917, excited to take home some gold. Did you see that coming at all? No, no. I, I, I didn't. I'm thrilled. I mean, don't get me wrong. He's like, I'm still blacked out. I'm still What's blacked happening? out. And two of the biggest wins of the night went to South Korean thriller Parasite, winning for best foreign film. When you heard you'd won, what was the reaction? What, what was the first thing that went through your mind? Just a blank. And Rocky Man's Taryn Edgerton for Best Actor. It had to be you, though, I, and I know that probably doesn't feel that way for you. But feel like that for the two and a half hours before. Well, what was the first thing Elton was able to say to you after you officially won? What did he say to you? Oh, he just said, "I'm so." Can I? I can't swear. No, you Good can morning. swear. Everybody oh, else said, "I'm so <laughs> proud of you." <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, so we, as you learned there, we were the first person yes. most people talk to. Yes. I had a family, kids. We might be invited <laughs> to Christmas next year. I'm not sure. Yeah, and Patricia Arquette, another one. She didn't even get a chance to touch base with her. She talked to us first. She left our set and said, somebody give me my phone. I need to touch base with my kids. So we were the we were reminder the first. for that. But I have to say that um, Rami was one of my favorites. He was fantastic Yusuf. last night. And we have so much more. Yes. So you got to stay tuned. Strahan, Sarah, and Kiki, we're going to do a lot more behind the scenes fun. So don't miss it. So Strahan, Sarah, Kiki, and TJ. no TJ. No TJ. <laughs> no TJ. <laughs> oh, he's done. Thank you, guys. You look so good. I know. Well, both of you. And I love that suit, TJ. You should be on the show. <laughs> They have kicked off the award season in a big way, just a week away from the Oscar nominations. Ooh. You can see it live here on Monday morning. Always a big one. It is. Well, hey.
Hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.